गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी डिस्कस द फोर क्वालिटी प्रॉपर्टीज फ्रॉम द सोल्यूशन चैप्टर स्टैंडर्ड ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड सो चैप्टर इज सोल्यूशन सेकेंड चैप्टर फ्रॉम ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड सिलेबस एंड फ्रॉम दैट वी लर्न द फोर प्रॉपर्टीज दैट प्रॉपर्टीज आर क्वालिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टीज नेमली लोअरिंग ऑफ वेपर प्रेशर बॉइलिंग पॉइंट एलिवेशन डिप्रेशन इन फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट एंड ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर एंड बेस्ड इन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर वन कंसेप्ट इज देयर कॉल्ड एज अ रिवर्स ऑस्मोसिस सो टिल नाउ आई हैव सेन द वीडियोज ऑफ अप टू रिवर्स ऑस्मोसिस नाउ नेक्स्ट कंसेप्ट आफ्टर क्वालिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टीज दीज फोर क्वालिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टीज आर जनरली वी हैव स्टडीड फॉर नॉन इलेक्ट्रोलाइट सोल्यूशन वॉट आर नॉन इलेक्ट्रोलाइट सोल्यूशन the solutions when dissolved in water if they do not dissociates into its ions then that are called as a non electrolyte these colligative properties are also applicable for the electrolyte solution so we will discuss the colligative properties for electrolyte colligative properties for electrolytes so what are electrolytes electrolytes are when dissolved in water they split up into its ion they undergo dissociation for example if we consider the electrolyte suppose nacl when it dissolved in water that is in aqueous medium it dissociates generally completely giving its ion na plus and cl minus in this case this electrolyte is converted to its ion two ions are formed so from one ionized or ionized molecule two ions are formed one is na plus ion and second one is cl minus ion as the number of ions increases that is number of particles increases colligative property increases why because colligative properties are directly proportional to the number of particles and not on their nature these are directly proportional to number of solute particle whenever nacl get dissociates into its ion then number of ions are two so colligative properties as they are proportional to number of solute particle here the from one nacl two ions are formed therefore colligative property increases as they are proportional to number of solute particle and this colligative properties are inversely proportional to the molar mass of a solute so after dissociation of electrolyte colligative properties increases but molar mass of that electrolyte it goes on decreasing so what are the colligative properties for electrolyte solution for electrolyte solution colligative property increases as the number of ions increases but the observed molecular mass is found to be less than the non electrolyte and this is the property for the electrolyte called as a colligative properties for electrolyte colligative properties of electrolytes they are related to colligative properties of non electrolytes by a factor called as a want of factor now we will study what is want of factor so concept is want of factor this want of factor is indicated by i and by using want of factor we are able to obtain the relation for colligative properties of electrolyte by using the properties of non electrolyte and this want of factor is defined as i is defined as it is the ratio of colligative properties colligative properties of electrolyte solution electrolyte solution divided by colligative properties of properties of non electrolyte solution non electrolyte solution now already we discussed the four colligative properties lowering of vapor pressure elevation in boiling point depression in freezing point and osmotic pressure so if apply these properties for want of factor then i is equal to delta p lowering of vapor pressure upon delta p0 where delta p is the colligative property for electrolyte 
and delta p zero when this subscript is zero then it called as a colligative property for non electrolyte solution and by using the formula we are able to find out the delta p zero values then if we apply same one for second property that is elevation in boiling point then i is equal to delta t b upon delta t b zero when subscript is zero then it is for non electrolyte solution third property i is equal to delta t f upon delta t f zero what is delta t f depression in freezing point for electrolyte solution divided by depression in freezing point for non electrolyte solution and fourth property is osmotic pressure when i is applied for osmotic pressure then i is equal to pi upon pi zero so this is one the factor i it gives a relation between the colligative property of electrolyte solution to that of the colligative properties of non electrolyte and what is the definition for one the factor it is the ratio of colligative property of electrolyte solution divided by colligative properties of non electrolyte solution at same concentration a question based on this one the factor is define one the factor and explain so definition carries one mark and any one example for any property you can write now after this colligative property if any electrolyte is undergoing dissociation suppose i am giving example suppose acetic acid ch3coh it dissociates feebly or partly giving its ion ch3co minus plus h plus if one the factor is applicable for this one then we are able to write i is equal to number of moles of particles number of moles of particles that undergoes dissociation dissociation or dissociated number of particles of that dissociated divided by moles of formula unit moles of formula unit that dissolved that dissolved so what it means may i repeat again an alternative definition for one the factor one the factor is the ratio of number of moles of particles dissociated upon moles of formula unit that dissolved in acetic acid number of particles dissociated which particles are dissociated ch3co minus acetate ion plus h plus ion so number of particles dissociated are two two moles of there one mole of acetic acid one mole of h plus and moles of formula unit how many number of moles of formula unit is one mole of acetic acid so two upon one this is the amount of factor for dissociation of acetic acid so may i repeat the alternative definition for one the factor it is the ratio of number of moles of particles dissociated upon number of moles of unit formula unit that dissolved this one the factor is also related to molar mass or molecular mass of a substance so i is equal to molecular mass theoretical upon molecular mass observed by using this formula we are able to find out the molecular mass by using this formula we are able to find out the how many moles are dissociated how many moles are not dissociated and by using the four properties we are able to find out the lowering of vapor pressure elevation in boiling point depression in freezing point and relation between i and electrolyte and non electrolyte properties chapter we discuss the four colligative properties and by using this four colligative properties how to find out the molar mass of non volatile solute already we have we give i have given the questions derive the relationship between molar mass of solute and lowering of vapor pressure or molar mass of solute and elevation in boiling point or relation between molar mass of solute and depression in freezing point then molar mass of a solute and osmotic pressure these derivations are generally for non electrolyte solutions now i will again repeat the mathematical forms or final derivation part of that properties so first property is 
lowering of vapor pressure delta p it is equal to w2 m1 upon w1 m2 this derivation already we have done but if this lowering of vapor pressure of non electrolyte is related to lowering of vapor pressure of electrolyte solution then we have the modified expression delta p is equal to i because this relation between electrolyte and non electrolyte colligative properties is given by the want of factor so modified expression for colligative properties of electrolyte are lowering of vapor pressure delta p is equal to i W two M one upon W one M two, where delta P is the lowering of vapor pressure, I is the want of factor, W two mass of solute, M one molar mass of solvent, W one mass of solvent, and M two molar mass of solute. Second property elevation in boiling point given by delta T B. Delta T B is equal to I. Then thousand kb w two upon m two into w one in gram. So elevation in boiling point. How it is related to want of factor I for electrolyte solution? Delta T B is equal to I thousand kb w two upon m two into w one, where I is the want of factor. Delta T B is the elevation in boiling point. Kb is called as a ebullioscopic constant or molar elevation constant. W2 is called as a mass of solute. M2 is molar mass of solute, and W1 is the mass of solvent. When thousand is in expression, then that W1 will be in a gram. Third colligative property, delta Tf, depression in freezing point, is equal to I thousand Kf W2. Upon M two W one again delta T F is depression in freezing point. I is the want of factor. K F is called as a cryoscopic constant or molar depression constant. W two is the mass of solute. M two molar mass of solute and W one is the mass of solvent. This is our third colligative property. Fourth colligative property is osmotic pressure. Osmotic pressure is equal to I into W R T upon M two V, where P is the osmotic pressure, I is the want of factor, W two is the mass of solute, R is the constant zero point zero eighty two liter atmosphere per mole per Kelvin, T is the temperature in Kelvin, M two is the molar mass of solute, and V is the volume of solution. So by using this formulas or expressions, we are able to correlate between colligative properties of non-electrolyte and colligative properties of electrolyte solution. Now we will start the relation between want of factor and degree of dissociation. Degree of dissociation concept already we learn in eleventh standard. That degree of dissociation is indicated by letter alpha, and want of factor is indicated by letter. I so want of factor I and degree of dissociation alpha relation between these two now we will derive for that purpose let us consider a electrolyte general electrolyte suppose AX and BY when it dissolved in water it dissociate into its ion what are the ions X moles of cation A Y plus plus Y moles of anion B X minus. May I repeat what is this X? X is the stoichiometric coefficient of this cation. Which cation? A having charge plus charge. And Y B minus. Y is the coefficient for the stoichiometric coefficient for the anion. Which anion? B having charge X minus. So when electrolyte A X B Y dissolve in water, it dissociate. It split up into its ions X A Y plus plus Y B X minus. Initially, in initially, we will say that one mole of A X B Y is there, and initially only reactants are there. Product will be zero. 
Once this X B Y dissolved in water, then there is the formation of this cations and anions at equilibrium. So at equilibrium, equilibrium moles will be out of one X alpha are undergoing dissociation, Y alpha are undergoing dissociation. So number of moles of A X B Y remain undissociated will be one minus alpha. May I repeat this concept again? If initially one mole of X B Y is there, out of one at equilibrium, X alpha are split up into X A Y plus ion and Y alpha is split up into Y B X minus ions. So this much quantity X alpha are the number of cations undergoing dissociation, Y alpha are the number of anions undergoing dissociation, then number of Electrolyte that remain undissociated will be 1 minus alpha. Therefore, total number of moles, total number of moles will be addition of all these three, which addition 1 minus alpha plus x alpha plus y alpha. Here, we will take alpha as a common. If we consider the alpha as a common, then it is 1. I am separating 1. See ho, over here. In bracket, if 1 is there here, minus alpha means here, minus 1. X alpha plus X plus Y and what we have taken common? Alpha. See over here, 1 plus in bracket, minus 1 plus X plus Y and alpha. So, continue with this one. So, total number of moles will be 1 plus, just I am rearranging this one, 1 plus alpha is the common in bracket x plus y minus 1. And what is this is equal to? This is equal to total number of moles after dissociation. After dissociation we are getting this one. As for simplification I will write x plus y is equal to n. What is x? Number of cations. What are y? Number of anions. So number of cations and anions I will indicate by the n. So if I will write this one, I will continue over here. So if you continue, total number of moles dis undergoes dissociation. Total number of moles after dissociation. After dissociation is equal to dissociation. What we are getting is equal to 1 plus n. X plus y I have mentioned as a n. n minus 1. So that is total number of moles undergoing dissociation. So that total number of wanta factor. Just now we learn what is wanta factor i. Number of particles that undergoes dissociation upon total number of particles remain undissociated. Number of particles undergoing dissociations are I is equal to 1 plus N minus 1 divided by total number of particles that dissolved in the solution is 1. May I repeat what is want of factor? Number of particles undergoes dissociation divided by number of particles get dissolved. So total number of particles dissolved are 1 because 1 AX BY and number of particles dissociated will be this one 1 plus N minus 1 upon 1. If we cross multiply we will get I is equal to 1 plus N minus 1. So if we substitute sorry if we change I minus 1 just shifted I minus 1 is equal to here alpha is there sorry alpha is common is there alpha is there only alpha n minus 1. So what is alpha is equal to I minus 1 upon n minus 1. See again on the board what is given alpha is equal to I minus 1 upon n minus 1. This is the relation between degree of dissociation and want of factor. Here alpha is called as a degree of dissociation. I is called as a want of factor. N is nothing but X plus Y. What is X? Number of cations plus number of anions. That is the stoichiometric coefficient for cation and stoichiometric coefficient for anion. Using this formula, we are able to find out degree of dissociation, 
or want of factor for given electrolyte solution just now we discussed the theoretical part for the want of factor and then relation between the want of factor and degree of dissociation now we will start with the problem part we will solve the problem based on want of factor and the all colligative properties that properties may be depression in freezing point or elevation in boiling point or lowering of your pressure see we will start with the first problem it is unsolved problem from your exercise so i will read the problem a 0.15 molar aqueous solution of kcl freezes at minus 0.510 degree celsius calculate i i that is want of factor and pi pi means osmotic pressure calculate i and pi at 0 degree celsius and what we have to assume assume the volume of solution is equal to that of water and in bracket value is given one value kf that is cryoscopic constant for water or molar depression constant for water is given 1.86 kelvin kg per mole so i'll solve this problem in detail then i'll give you for the assignment also so what is given a 0.15 molar solution so molality small m molality is given 0.15 m small m aqueous solution solution is aqueous so solvent will be the water aqueous solution of kcl potassium chloride that solution freezes at minus 0.510 degree celsius so freezing point of solution that is tf is equal to minus 0.510 degree celsius here also as solution is aqueous even though it is not given but we know that freezing point of pure solvent that is water is 0 degree celsius because it is given in degree celsius so if we convert this degree celsius into kelvin then how to convert degree celsius to kelvin by addition of 273 here i'll add 273 here is so i will add 273 so values degree celsius will be converted to kelvin and what we have to calculate want of factor i and osmotic pressure pi and what we have to assume but that we have to find for 0 degree celsius here it is given for the 0 degree celsius that is at 273 kelvin or at 0 degree celsius and we have to assume volume of solution is equal to volume of water so this part is given now by using this given part we will find the value of i and pi may i repeat the given part molality is 0.15 molar freezing point of solution is given minus 0.510 degree celsius we will convert into kelvin by addition of 273 T F T F zero that is freezing point of pure water at zero degree Celsius means zero plus two seventy three Kelvin and we have to find out I and pi in want of factor already we derived the relation I is equal to delta T F upon delta T F zero when this subscript is zero. then that subscript related to depression in freezing point for non electrolyte solution and only delta tf is the depression in freezing point for electrolyte solution now depression in freezing point what is delta tf it is the delta tf zero freezing point of pure solvent minus freezing point of solution tf and delta tf zero depression in freezing point of non electrolyte solution that is first colligative property delta tf is proportional to m molality so delta tf is equal to kf into m that we already learned so delta tf zero for non electrolyte will be cryoscopic constant kf into molality now we will first solve this one what is i is equal to i is equal to tf zero minus tf here what is tf Minus zero point one zero five one zero plus two seventy three, and what is TF zero zero degree Celsius plus two seventy three. So if you have this one substitute a value, we will get TF zero is minus zero point five one zero plus two seventy three minus what is TF zero plus two seventy three. Here in bracket if we sort here. 
minus and plus it will become minus so it will be minus 0 minus 273 here plus 273 minus 273 gets cancelled so which value we are getting minus minus it will be plus so i'll write this value we will get directly if we write we will get first one i is equal to tf0 minus tf is nothing but 0 0.510 that will be in kelvin divided by kf into m what is the value of kf already it is given in the problem it is 1.86 kelvin kg per mole and what is molality 0 0.15 if we solve this one we will get the want of factor that we have to find i so how to find out this one we will use the log 0 0.510 characteristic for will be bar 1 we will take the log log of i is equal to log of 0 0.510 is bar 1 and from log book log of 51 is 7076 bar 1.7076 divide means minus 1.86 log characteristics will be 0 log of 18 in 6 from log book it is coming as a if we multiply so first we will do the multiplication of these two if we multiply we will get 0 0.510 divided by directly first i am doing the multiplication it is coming at 0 0.279 so it will be more easy to solve so what is characteristic for 0 0.279 it will be bar 1 and 27 in 9 it is coming as a 4456 log of 27 in 9. So log of 510 minus log of 0 0.279 we are getting this one. So log of log to the base 10 of course it will be i is equal to this subtraction is coming as 0 0.2620. Zero point two six two zero. Then we will take the anti log. Anti log of twenty six in two. If we from log book, if we anti log, we are going to see two six in two. That anti log is coming as a one eight two eight. Here after zero means in anti log we have to add one. So after first digit we will give the decimal point. So one top factor i is equal to one point eight two eight. That is our first one. How to solve one top factor i. May I repeat how to start? Write down the formula. Delta Tf is the freezing point for electrolyte. Upon freezing colligative property for freezing point depression for non-electrolyte. Then we have solved this one. Substituted the value. And we are getting one top factor i is equal to 1.828. Now we have to find out the value for pi. That is osmotic pressure. Now, for osmotic pressure also, one top factor and osmotic pressure are related as I is equal to pi osmotic pressure for electrolyte upon osmotic pressure for non-electrolyte solution. We have to find osmotic pressure for electrolyte. I is pi is equal to I into pi zero. What is osmotic pressure for non-electrolyte? Already we derived the formula. So by formula, Pi is equal to I. What is pi 0? W2 RT upon M2 V. Or we can say second formula. Pi is equal to I N2 RT W2 upon M2. That is number of moles of solute upon V is the volume of solution. So these two formula we will use. Now, substituting the values for this, I will write over here. So, pi is equal to, want of factor i, just now we derived, we got the value 1.828, value of i. Then, w2 or m2, w2 upon m2, that is called as a number of moles of solute. That number of moles per unit volume of solution, that is given as a 0.15 molal. N. What is value of R? R value is 0 0.082 liter atmosphere per mole per Kelvin. And temperature, this value of pi we have to find at 0 degree Celsius. That is at 
273 kelvin 273 kelvin upon volume volume is per liter liter means 1 v will be 1 liter now if we solve this one we will take again log for each and every term log of log to the base 10 pi log of 1.8218 characteristic will be 0 18 2 and 8 that log is 2670 plus log of 0.15 characteristic will be bar 1 log of 15 is 1761 from log book plus log of 0.082 that is bar 2 log of 82 is coming as a 9138 bar 2.9138 log of 273 characteristic will be 2 log of 27 in 3 it is coming as a 4362 if we add minus 1 that is 0.000 so if we add this 3 then we will get the answer that is 0. it is coming as a 0.7881 this is nothing but log to the base 10 pi is equal to this so what is pi is equal to anti log of this 78 into 8 and 1 the value is coming 6139 this anti log is coming 6139 where to put decimal point again here it is zero in anti log we are adding one so after one digit put the decimal point so pi is equal to 6.139 what is pi osmotic pressure so what should be the unit atmosphere so this is our problem first we have to find out the value of i then we will we are able to find out the value of pi This problem is for three marks or four marks in your exam. This is the unsolved problem from your exercise.